Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn directory structure of the Laravel. Laravel application have a very simple directory structure. Let me open Laravel project into the editor and explain all the directory in detail. This all are root directory which are created by default when Laravel application is created. First of all, app directory. Basically, app directory is the main directory of the application and you can say the heart of the project because app directory contain core code of your laravel application and this app directory contain variety of sub directory you can see here console exceptions http models and providers some directory are not created when project is set up but it will be created when you fire some custom command like create channel and when you fire the make colon channel command and generate the broadcast channel at that time some basic directories are created which are not provided by default so let me explain the broadcasting directory the broadcasting directory contain all of the broadcast channel and it's all classes of your application and this directory create when you fire make colon channel I said before this directory does not exist by default but it will be create you when create your first channel and second directory is console this directory have a one file kernel dot php and this directory contain all of the your custom artisan command for all of your application this command may be generated using the make colon command and this directory also has a house of your console kernel and you need to register all your command in this kernel dot php and you can schedule it here in this method and load it here next directory is event right now you cannot able to see event because it's not provided by default but when you fire the make colon event command and generate event that time this directory is created and all of the events store inside the event directory and next one is exceptions this directory have one file handler.php this file handle all the exceptions which are provided by default laravel as well you can create your own custom exceptions in this file handle everything regarding the exceptions and next one is http http directory contain all controllers middlewares form request and everything this is the most useful thing and stored all the logic inside this directory controllers middleware and request we will learn in detail controller and middleware later and next one is job the job directory does not exist by default but it will create for you if you execute the make colon job artisan command the job directory is a house of the queuable jobs for your application and you will create jobs when you need it so this is not by default uh, given by the laravel application this all directories are most useful and it must be needed that's why given by default but not some directory given by default like listeners mail notification rules all are right now not exist here but it create when you need it and next is model all the models are and all the models classes are stored inside this directory and the model directory contain all the allocants model allocants orm included with the laravel providers 
it's simple and active record implementation and all of the models are inside this directory next one is providers five providers given by default you can create your custom providers is inside this directory as well so this all the app directory and its sub directory next one is bootstrap the bootstrap directory contain the app dot php let me show you and also uh, your project cache inside this bootstrap dot php you can see here app dot php and this file which bootstrap the framework the directory also house of the case you can see here all the cache are inside this directory and this framework generate the cache inside this directory you should not typically need to modify this file so basically we never touch to this file it's just for use of the this framework's purpose and it's used for framework next is config all the config file contain in this directory and generated inside this directory when you install any of the package and package have config file then their config file generated inside this directory and store all the configuration of the framework you can see here app.php auth.php so this framework read the configuration from this all file you can see here lots of the file available course database file systems we will learn all the files in next tutorial and we will see this all files purpose later and next directory is database the database directory contain all of your the database directory contain your database migrations models factory and seeders so let me show you factories migrations and seeders now next directory is public your application load from here index.php included inside the public directory also all of the assets are stored inside the public directory and project run from the public your stxs file also available into the public directory and next one is resource in this directory view and assets are stored and all the assets compile from this directory to public using laravel mix you can see here one file webpack dot mix we need to specify here and compile in to the public so when this file is compiled it's compile from this file to this file and store inside the public slash js and all the view are there in this view directory this directory contain uh, language related stuff so if you want to create multi language that time this directory is useful and next one is route all of the your routes are stored in this site if you want to create api routes then you should store in api.php and if you are using into the website and into the browser that time web.php is used this directory contain all of your routes definition for your application and you can use this directory for the route structure next one is storage the storage directory contain all the logs compile blade compile blade means all the views 
are into the blade format blade is a template engine and this framework convert into the file let me show you compile views you can see here this is the compile view so blade convert into the php and all the compile views are stored inside the storage framework and views also sessions cache and logs are stored inside the storage directory if you want to write the test case and unit test then store inside the test directory this is the vendor this directory created by the composer you can see here composer dot json and composer is a dependency manager and install all the packages inside the vendor so all the packages code are inside the vendor and this framework used from the vendor so this is the directory structure some files are there inside the root for example dot env and artisan and composer dot json composer dot log package dot json so all are used in this framework so this is the directory structure of the laravel it's very simple and easy to understand thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you